amigos, ¿cómo están? Una nueva edición aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Yo soy Javier Mota y tenemos un show con uh, varias entrevistas que se nos han ido quedando de los uh, viajes recientes que hemos hecho por uh, California, eh, principalmente. Eh, vamos a hablar un poco de las ventas de autos nuevos en agosto que se han disparado. Grandes resultados para Toyota, para Honda, para Chrysler, en realidad para todo el mundo. Eh, vamos a hablar con uh, David Bennett eh, de la AAA sobre la lista de los mejores autos familiares 2013. Después eh, vamos a hablar con uh, Frank Waite de la Volkswagen eh, sobre una nueva tecnología de comunicación, seguridad y entretenimiento que están presentando con la nueva línea de modelos del 2014. Eh, vamos a dar el test drive con el Golf Sirocco 2014 también que probamos hace un par de semanas en California. Y también el Mercedes-Benz E-Class eh, que estuvimos probando en Portland. Así que bueno, vamos a arrancar el show ahora ya con las entrevistas. Aquí está... David Bennett, el gerente de compra de vehículos de la AAA, hablando de la list of top vehicles for growing families. Hello, David. How are you uh, from AAA? Hi, uh, Javier. I'm doing well. Yourself? Excellent. Thank you. Here, uh, thank you again for for the time, as always, uh, helping us uh, with the show, analyzing a little bit what's going on with the auto industry. Uh, and I was uh, just mentioning at the beginning of the segment how good the, the sales numbers are, and uh, one of the segments that is uh, feeling that is. Uh, Big sedan and crossovers, I mean, family cars, right? Yes, yes, very much so. Uh, sales have been really good, very strong in uh, in August. Yeah, and um, so your AAA came up with a, a new list about uh, uh, these, uh, the new the new cars, are list of top be, uh, vehicles uh, for growing families. So we can analyze that a little bit? Sure, I'd love to. You know, what we were looking for is these vehicles... You know, as families are looking to uh, to expand, whether or not it's their first child or their third or even their uh, their fourth or fifth, you know, they need to be looking at different vehicles that can accommodate all of their uh, all of their needs. Yeah, and it seems that the auto industry is catching up with that very fast, uh, putting a lot of equipment in cars. I mean, the Honda Odyssey now has a vacuum cleaner in it. So. <laughs> yeah, that comes in handy when you have small kids. Exactly, and dogs too, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's go a little bit, uh, a little, uh, segment by segment, and maybe uh, we, we can cover all of it in this segment, but uh, we'll post the link on our Facebook page so our audience can check it out. Uh, so we start with the crossovers and the Toyota Highlander, which has, uh, has been uh, redesigned. It's, it's, it's at the top of your list. It is. It, you know, it, it's, a, it's a solid vehicle. It's very uh, safe. It's got uh, three-row three safety airbags, which are very nice. The fuel economy is pretty good. It's around 17 miles a gallon, the AAA uh, observed, and that was with the uh, the V6 engine. Um, you know, the, the, the spaciousness in there with the second row seating, it, it, it splits a couple different ways. Of, uh, you could do the 40%, 20%, or 40%, so it gives you a little bit of flexibility in there. And it, what's really nice is uh, they have a backup camera that's standard on all but the, uh, the base model, so it gives you a lot of flexibility and some safety items. There. Yeah, you mentioned the, the backup camera as a standard uh, equipment, and um, I was reading some reports, uh, always looking for stuff, and uh, for example, the Audi Q5, which is a fabulous vehicle, and it uh, starts, around, starts around like 35000 uh, but the, you can go to 50 really easy because it doesn't include too much equipment. So there's these, the, the options that you put in your list uh, figure out the, the value of, of, uh, of, the, of the buy, too? Yes, uh, yes, very much so. Uh, we, we do look at uh, some of the base models uh, as well as, you know, all the different options. And if you're looking at vehicles, you know, you, you need to consider what, what is a want versus a need. You know, do you need the sunroof? Do you want the sunroof? It's the same thing with with backup cameras and, and, and other items. You just want to make sure that you're staying within the budget that you've allowed. Yeah, uh, and, and in, this se in this sense, I think, uh, I mean, the Koreans and the, the Americans and, and the Japanese are doing a, a better job, I think, in packaging the cars with a, a ton of equipment. I see on the crossover or, or SUV list also the Dodge Durango, which uh, has been uh, revised for uh, 2014, but the 2013 model is still pretty good, right? Very much so. Yeah, it's a it's a strong vehicle. It's uh, you know that has third row seating that's standard on all their trim levels, which is nice. And, and it has and it's actually uh, has very adequate uh, spacing or seating for in that third row for even taller people. <clears throat> Excuse me, people that are around six feet. Yeah, and it starts uh, surprisingly, I think, at thirty six thousand five hundred and sixty seven dollars, 
which is like a lot of uh, car for that kind of money, I believe. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. So in in that uh, segment in the crossover and SUV list, you also besides the Toyota Highlander and the Dodge Durango, you have the Subaru Outback, the Chevrolet Equinox, the Mazda Five, and the Honda CRB. But uh, just I mean, we won't have time to analyze all of them. But let's go to the uh, sedans, and I think that's like the 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 most uh, uh, competitive segment in the market. So Honda Accord, Ford Taurus, and uh, Hyundai Sonata in that segment. And I think that Sonata is like uh, one of the best cars in the market right now. It's a very nice car. You know, that passenger uh, room is, uh, passenger cabin is very roomy. It's very nice to look at. Uh, it's got quite a bit of space. Uh, even the trunk is is good. And, you know, the gas mileage is fairly strong. And around, you know, AAA observed about 27 miles a gallon it got with the, uh, with the SE version. So, fairly strong vehicle. Yeah. And, again, we're talking and, and with... Let's face it. I'm sorry to... Talk over the warranty itself is you can't beat that. Well, yeah, that's uh, one of the keys uh, that I think that has put uh, Hyundai and Kia ahead of the some of the competition in some segments. That ten year guarantee is like uh, pretty pretty enticing for a lot of people. Something that they look like uh, a very good value. Uh, and as I was saying, we're talking to David Bennett, manager of AAA Auto Buying Programs. Uh, so all the information, obviously, in, uh, in AAA um, dot com. And um, another another car here, the Ford Taurus. Uh, does it's not like one of the most popular cars, but why did you include it in this list? I, you know, you're right. It hasn't been one of the the best sellers, but it is a solid vehicle. It's very, fairly large, and you know the trunk space is, is extremely large. I mean, it, until you open that trunk and look in there, you'd be surprised at how much uh, thing, how much space and. Uh, items that you can store in there and it, it has a very nice ride to the vehicle itself yeah and of course uh, in the top of the list uh, of the sedans in this uh, AAA uh, best cars for family the Honda Accord which uh, Honda has been uh, coming back really really strong I think for like some years five to ten years they weren't I mean they, they've always been good but like it seemed like they didn't weren't doing much to to to, to fight with the competition, but this new Honda Accord is fantastic. I mean, the technology in that car is just incredible. I, I agree with you. It's uh, it's it's a very good put together car. Rides really nice, and you know the fuel economy is very nice. So uh, going back, uh, I mean, I guess to the the core of the family car segment, the minivans, and as we were mentioning, the Honda Odyssey. Did you include the the vacuum cleaner as one of the factors that to put in on the top of your list? I did not. I think that's <laughs> just kind of a pleasant surprise there for for the uh, for the shoppers and buyers of it. Yeah, uh, uh, but again, you know, much like you know that Toyota Highlander we talked about earlier, but you know the the backup camera here is standard, and that's really nice when you have kids that are making some noise. It'll help you concentrate, be a little bit safer for you. Yeah, and um, you, before you were mentioning about what people need and what people want. And and one of the things is that uh, sometimes they don't really realize that how important is that feature such in a such big vehicle because like the maneuvering it can be kind of difficult and that's some of the things that manufacturers are putting a lot of effort and money to equip the cars with technology that uh, basically avoid accidents. So and this the, the, the rear view camera you you highly recommend it to in this segment of, of vehicles. I do. It's a, it's a nice safety feature. You know, if it's not standard, again, you need to look at your, your wants and your needs and what you can afford. But, uh, yes, if you can if you can afford it or in, and it's part of the vehicle package or an option, it's a great feature to have because, you know, as you're backing up, you want to see everything you can. And if the uh, if your if your kids are noisy or being distracted, kids noisy. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, David, uh, and then we you have uh, you have to include, I guess, uh, the Chrysler Town and Country there. I mean, uh, Chrysler is celebrating 30 years of uh, invention, sort of the minivan. So, I mean, they just, I mean, Honda. I think they passed them for a, a while. Uh, Toyota also with the with the Sienna, but uh, still very strong uh, vehicle, right? I agree. And when they introduced the Stow and Go uh, package, which allows you to quickly and easily. Uh, uh, fold down the passenger seat. It, it's it's great. Uh, so when you do the second row um, seats and you, and then you fold down the third row seats, everything is just flat. Now it's just a spacious cargo van and almost, you know. So you can really just you don't have to remove the seats. Uh, and now you just flip those uh, the second and third row down. 
you have plenty of room to, to run to the hardware store if you'd like. Yeah. So David Bennett from a AAA Auto Buying Programs. David, tell us a little bit, Shirley, how, how do you uh, come up with this list? I mean, you mentioned a little bit value and all that, but uh, can you go over a little bit of your process, how you come up with, uh, with uh, this uh, list of uh, best cars for families? Sure. Uh, AAA is... Uh Auto buying experts, we, we take a look at uh, and drive a couple hundred vehicles each year. And uh, what we were specifically looking for on this is um, safety, cargo room, uh, passenger uh, ca uh, capabilities or seating capacities, which allows allow them to carry additional passengers. So there are many things we went into. Uh, we wanted to ensure that the, the ride is fairly smooth and comfortable. So that way the passenger and the driver themselves are, are comfortable. And, of course, you know, safety is always at the top of the list. Absolutely. And value, I was noticing that none of the cars that you list uh, in these uh, top vehicles for growing families uh, go more than uh, $35,000 around that. So it's a pretty pretty good uh, information. So, David, thank you very much for your time again. And uh, also thank you for to Jeannie Pritchett, uh, Manager of Public Relations at AAA for her help always with these interviews with you guys. So um, thank you very much for your time again and uh, AAA.com for all the information, right? Yes, you can go to AAA.com or uh, download our app in the uh, iPhone's uh, app store. Excellent. Thank you very much, David. Have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. Ese fue David Bennett de la AAA hablándonos de la lista de los mejores autos, de lo que ellos consideran los mejores autos para las familias aquí en Estados Unidos, la lista de modelos para el 2013 Lista muy interesante, y bueno, ahí hablábamos de todos los modelos eh, disponibles, sobre todo eh, al final las minivans, que como decíamos ahí también, la Chrysler está festejando 30 años de lo que ellos consideran la invención de la minivan, y para celebrar eso van a sacar para el año 2014 una edición especial de las dos minivans, la Grand Caravan y la Town and Country de Chrysler, para celebrar los 30 años de la invención de la minivan en Estados Unidos por el grupo Chrysler así que interesante, cuando regresemos vamos a hablar de nuevas tecnologías de la Volkswagen, el, el nuevo sistema que se llama CarNet, estuvimos probando en California hace un par de semanas, así que no se vayan, ya regresamos esto es Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network, yo soy Javier Mota <música> 